folks in his orbit and what and what influences this kind of behavior. And that's dangerous. You're right. Jennifer, it is undoubtedly dangerous. Uh, as Basil laid out there, no regard for the office, no regard for the people who this information was meant to keep safe. And yet the real possibility that he could get back into the White House once again, have access to this kind of information, just how big of a threat, of a danger is that to this country? Well, it's an extraordinary danger. And, you know, I have a lot of respect for Basil's response and for the dignity of his response. But I think it's really important that we're very direct and clear that Donald Trump is dangerous. He's dangerous to the, to the you know, he undermines the security of our nation, but he's dangerous to the safety of every individual American citizen. Every person who lives in this country is potentially, uh, you, know, you know, the target of harm because of how he handles uh, these documents because of how he mishandles classified information. Um, but, you know, beyond that, uh, I would also want to say, with, you know, with all due respect to folks who are coming out and talking about what happened in these meetings and writing books about it, and I have no respect for those folks because my question is, why didn't they say something in 2017? Why didn't they say something in 2020? Why didn't the American people hear from the folks who were inside these meetings and inside the White House? House as it was happening. Donald Trump being able to get away with as much as he has and the fact that he is so, he uses this classified information to kind of build his strongman image with the people in the room, with his followers, and it has fed his ability to keep those followers in line behind him. It's incredibly dangerous, but I'm, I have a tremendous amount of, um, I guess, anger for those folks who were inside those meetings and inside the White House all those years ago and never spoke up at the time. Time. Right, Dave. I think there are a lot of people who, sh who share Jennifer's anger, who share Jennifer's fr frustration. And it feels, you'll correct me if you think I'm wrong, that we're getting closer to what could be accountability here, which is the thing that so many people have been hungry for. I wonder this documented pattern uh, of misbehavior from the former president of showing documents that he was not supposed to be sharing with people both when he was president, after he was president. If, if the part of it that we have just learned is of use to Jack Smith as he built his case. Alicia, he'll continue to say.